Basketball is big in the Philippines, but traditionally its people are not. They haven't qualified for an Olympics in 46 years. Participation is not the problem. Size is. But could a national growth spurt be about to change things? There seems to be that trend that uh, Filipinos are getting taller. Taller kids are being brought to Metro Manila to train at a younger age, so their bodies are also stimulated physically to grow. You know, they're, they're given the best training, the best nutrition, they travel abroad to play against tougher competition, so that also strengthens them. So their children in turn become taller and bigger and stronger. Kai Soto is slam dunking testimony to the Philippines' growth spurt theory. The son of a former Filipino pro, the 16-year-old already stands out amongst his teammates at seven foot one. If you have the height, as they said, height is might. So it's gonna be a huge advantage, especially when you're playing against like smaller play, uh, like smaller play players. You just, you just, you just gonna be like a tower against them. So. It's going to be a huge advantage because he's going to score easily. Even though Soto's stature may be extraordinary, his coach says in general, he's definitely seen a shift in Filipino players getting taller. So last time I checked, the average height of a Filipino is around 5'4". Now at the pro leagues, the average height of a PBA player is around 6'4". He's already had offers to play in Europe and the States, but there's no doubt what the ultimate goal is for Soto. I want to make it to the NBA. The lure of the NBA is everywhere, and for kids here, it would certainly provide a golden ticket. But individual ambitions aside, Filipino basketball fans would just like to see the country competing back on the international stage. 1972 was the last time the Philippines basketball team competed at an Olympics. But the passion for the game is as strong as ever. And who knows, if kids are indeed getting taller, it may not be too long before they're back competing for medals. Jamela Alindogan, Al Jazeera, Manila.